Hello guys, this is Priyanka Ghosh. Welcome to my channel and this is my first makeup tutorial for you guys. This is a casual makeup look that I'm going to show you. You can achieve this look using very affordable products. I have used affordable drugstore brands here in achieving this look. So let's just begin. I'm going to show you how you can achieve this quickly and let's just begin in the without any further ado first of all I'm just going to conceal my dark spots and um, wherever I have dark spots over my face my pimple spots chicken pox spots or any kind of other spots this is the Rimmel under can uh, hide the blemish concealer in the shade soft honey it's a stick concealer I purchased it from Nika it's not super blendable but yes it does have have a good coverage I'll be quickly showing you how I'll be blending this using my beauty blender. It takes a lot of time and effort to blend this because it is like very sticky and thick as well. I quickly dab it out. Do not rub it because in order to for the concealer to stay on place and hide your dark spots, you need to keep it dabbing. Keep the beauty blender dabbing because if you rub it. It's not going to hide your spots. So dab, 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 dab. Next up, I'll be showing you my NYX concealer. I'll be applying this on my eyelids and my pimple spot. This is a liquid concealer. I'm a great fan of liquid concealers. I also do love La Maybelline Fit Me liquid concealers. They are amazing and they are really super super affordable next up would be my Maybelline Dream Satin Skin Foundation I'll just be taking one pump of this on my face quickly would be putting out dots on my face using my fingers I'm not a big fan of makeup brushes when it comes to everyday makeup and I'll be dabbing on this using a beauty blender because beauty blender is a solution to all your makeup problems it gives a very instant glow it has medium coverage not a very high coverage but a good coverage and also it feels very light on the skin it gives a very pretty glow guys it does not feel like you're applying a foundation it gives a makeup like airbrush look this was the first thing I noticed about this. I have already used it for more than 6 months now and completely um, I'll, I'm in love with this product. It trails for around 675 rupees in India. Next up is my Lakme 9 to 5 Complexion Matte Compact in the shade Melon Matte. I'll just be using this powder to set my concealer and foundation in place. Will not apply too much of the powder because it might give me a cakey look. Just a little bit. So I'm done with my base and see how quick it is. Next up is my eyeshadow palette from Oriflame. I purchased it two years back. I'm a great fan of Oriflame. People who know me must know that I really love Oriflame and I have used all of their products, almost all of their products. I'll just apply this shimmery, silvery kind of shade. I do not want to put a lot of eyeshadow on my eyelids because I'm doing a casual look. And I do not want the eyeshadow to pop, pop out of my eyes. I'll just apply the silver eyeshadow on the tip of my eyes. And next, I'll be applying a purple eyeshadow on my eyelids. Pair it up with the silver eyeshadow. I'll start applying this from the crease of my eyelids crease of my eyes actually will not apply too much but yes a little bit so that it just gives a good shade 
to my eyes I do not want artificial look I do want a natural look and this looks fine it doesn't look like I have applied too much of eyeshadow or too much of makeup on my eyes using this silver eyeshadow from the same makeup palette next up would be my eyeliner and before that I'll just be doing my brows I'll be using a brown eyeshadow guys if you do not have a brown pomade pencil stick or something like that to do your eyebrows you can just use your brown eyeshadow and do your eyebrows very easily do not use black eyeshadow or black pencils because it's really very tough to manage them it really gives a very artificial kind of a look which really pops out so I'll just be using this brown eyeshadow so that it gives me a very simple soft and subtle look as you can see I'm just filling in my eye eyebrows not very vigorously yes in just a way that it looks beautiful I'll be shaping my eye eyebrows using this pulley and I'm done next up as I mentioned would be my eyeliner this is my new purchase from the one range of uh, from more flame the eyeliner stylo pen it's an amazing pen liner guys people who are not very familiar with gel liners and liquid liners can use it easily it has a super pigmented tip and a super pigmented finish easy to wear and easily last for the same nine to five look so if you are wearing this for your office time you do not need to reapply this um just drawing a little bit of my lower lash line using this just till the middle not the complete eye i'll be doing the same procedure in the next eye i have done a winged eyeliner look because i really love it and this is my favorite look for my eyes as you can see it's easily done it's almost done and this pen liner has amazing amazing pigmentation guys I purchased it from the July catalog and it's one of my most recent purchases I'm done with my eyeliner I guess yes yes I'm done next up I would be doing up my cheeks I'll just contour my cheeks cheeks a little bit apply a blush and then I'll finally apply a highlighter I'll use my new favorite guys I love this this is a coco collection from Kylie cosmetics I'll just use the brown powder of out of it I'll just contour my cheeks will apply a little bit of it and it gives a super pigmentation it's highly pigmented it's amazing next up is the blush a little bit of the blush not too much because too much of pinks on your cheeks does not look good next up would be the highlighter it's super pigmented so I do not want to apply a lot of it I'll just, just apply dab it all over my cheekbones and just rub it with the brush blending brush I'm almost done with the highlighter as well as you can see it gives a very nice glow to my cheeks nose and chin as well next up would be my favorite mascara the Maybelline Colossal volume express mascara but the only problem is this is waterproof and guys it's really very tough to take this out of my eyes as this is waterproof it takes a lot of time even if I use makeup remover or wet tissues and you have to be very delicate with your eyes as your eyes are very delicate you need to be very extra careful while you're taking this off because none of us want to use I lose our eyelashes it gives a good finish to your eyelashes and um, I'm just left with my lipstick 
I'm not applying any like any contouring or other highlighting material to my nose because I do not want to contour it right now. I'm happy with my samosa nose. I do not have any problem with it. So I'm using the Miss Claire Soft Matte Lipstick. It's a true copy of the NYX stock, uh, soft, soft Matte Lipsticks. The NYX Matte Lip Creams that they have. And those retail for around 600 bucks in India. But this Miss Claire retails for around 180 to 250 Depends on the site. I purchased it from Instagram and I got it for 200 each. It has a super 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 duper texture guys it's soft matte it does not dry out your lips and stays for around five to six hours it do, does transfer if you eat or if you drink something but yes it is super super cool i'll definitely be reviewing this for you guys in a separate video i have more miss claire lip shades hope you guys like the video please do hit the like button guys please do give me a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that next time whenever I upload the video, you get a notification soon after that. And thanks for watching guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Love you all. Bye-bye.